Every single day, we get calls and emails here at Como asking us the same question. How's Kathy Gertzen doing? As you might know, Kathy was diagnosed with a benign brain tumor 12 years ago. She has had several surgeries, but hasn't been on the anchor desk since the last one. It has taken a greater toll on her than the others. With her usual grace, strength, and style, Kathy wants to share this phase of her life with you because you have been such an inspiration to her. Life is fun. Life is meant to be lived and there's you know I'm not one to hide I'm I've never hidden this whole experience of what's happened to me and now I'm showing it all and um, that's just who I am sharing this time around is not an easy thing the tumor is taking a toll on Kathy's face and voice letting people see that is difficult oh Brutal. Are you kidding? It's hard. It's hard to be on TV looking like this. Kathy might look a little different, but make no mistake, she hasn't changed. She's the same fighter you've followed for years. People at home are now probably looking at their TV going, what in the heck happened <laughs> to her face? And it, a brain tumor happened. The first brain tumor happened 12 years ago. Kathy has since undergone several surgeries and a ton of other treatments. I had one tumor that uh, we have had treated over and over again. Well, I've tried everything and um, it grew a few new ones came out of that one. So I've had radiation and five surgeries and drugs and chemo and all kinds of things I've tried but it's been a very persistent tumor and has grown into the facial nerve, which is why my face has stopped working on this side. This part isn't moving like it should. I my, my can't feel my tongue. Uh, my eye isn't closing right. And so um, it's given me a great empathy for people who are deal with this sort of thing or, or who look different. It's kind of unsettling for people who haven't seen me for a while. Um, it's unsettling for me. I don't even like looking in a mirror, but I'm still Kathy. I'm still me. My face is different, but it's me, and I'm, I'm fine. Fine, but frustrated. The loss, at least for now, of simple things, like that smile we all know so well. That is the most frustrating thing for me out of all of this that's going on with my face is the inability to smile. I want to say, <laughs> I'm smiling. And you can still smile with your eyes and with your body, but no, I miss, I miss my smile most of all. She misses the anchor desk too. She misses giving you the news, but it's you she's thinking about. It's hard to not be doing my job every day and not to be telling the news, but you know, my mouth isn't working right. I, it, it wouldn't be fair for the viewer to try to understand the news every day. It, it's, it's something I miss greatly, though. I, I really miss being in my anchor chair. Kathy's not in that chair, but she's not standing still either. She's working hard at Coma, landing interviews no one else can get, turning investigations, telling amazing stories. This is what I, I love about um, this business, and I'm still able to talk to people and interview people and that's that's what i love keeps me going keeps my motor running kathy admits there are highs and lows and all that lies in between but she knows she will always have what she holds most dear a fabulous family a million friends my girls say to me mama you're still beautiful Her challenge now, Kathy admits, is finding patience. Nerves come back, but slowly. And they keep saying, you know, you have to have patience, which is uh, not my best virtue. And so she waits for nerves to heal, for cures to come. She's living her life one day at a time. Oh, I don't take anything for granted. I, every last night I watched the moon set and this morning I saw the mountains with snow and clear and I don't take ever take that for granted it, one moment
and what a courageous, beautiful woman. We sat down with Kathy for this interview early last week, and then a couple of days later, she got the results of another MRI, and the news isn't good. The tumor has grown again, and Kathy needs surgery again. So tomorrow morning, for the sixth time, doctors will do battle with the tumor that's waging a war at the base of Kathy's brain.